Welcome to the real estate vocabulary set number four. This vocabulary set will have 50 real estate terms with definitions that would be helpful. Before we get started, don't forget to like the video. Now let's begin. Equal treatment slash different impact. Equal treatment slash different impact is a principle that prohibits discriminatory practices in real estate based on race, color, national origin, religion, sex, familial status, or disability. This principle applies to all aspects of real estate transactions, including advertising, marketing, and lending practices, and requires treating all individuals equally without regard to protected characteristics, even if the impact of certain practices may affect individuals differently. Equity. In real estate, equity refers to the difference between the market value of a property and the outstanding balance on any mortgages or liens. It represents the portion of the property's value that the owner actually owns outright and can be used to secure additional financing or sold to realize a profit. Escalator Clause An escalator clause is a provision in a contract that allows for an increase in price or rate based on a specified condition or index. In real estate, an escalator clause is commonly used in purchase offers to automatically increase the bid price if a higher offer is made by another buyer. A sheet. A sheet refers to the legal process by which the state takes ownership of a person's property when the person dies without leaving a will or without any known heirs. The state then becomes the custodian of the property until it can find the rightful owner or heir or dispose of the property through a public auction. Escrow. Escrow is a process in which a third party holds and regulates the exchange of funds and property between two parties involved in a real estate transaction. It ensures that both parties fulfill their obligations according to the terms of the agreement and that the transaction is completed smoothly and securely. The funds are held in an escrow account until all the conditions of the transaction are met and the transfer of property can be completed. Escrow Account an escrow account is a special account that is set up by a lender to hold funds, typically for property taxes and insurance, on behalf of a borrower. The lender collects a portion of the borrower's monthly mortgage payment to cover these expenses and deposits the funds into the escrow account. The funds are then paid out to the appropriate parties when the bills come due. Estimate of Value in real estate, an estimate of value refers to an appraiser's or broker's opinion of the current market value of a property. The estimate is usually based on a variety of factors, including recent comparable sales, location, condition of the property, and market trends. The estimate of value is an important tool for buyers and sellers as it helps them determine a fair price for the property. At Ux. It is often used in legal documents to indicate the spouse of a person, particularly in real estate transactions where both spouses have an interest in the property being bought or sold. Eviction Eviction refers to the legal process of expelling a tenant from a property due to non-payment of rent, violation of lease terms, or expiration of the lease. It involves a court order and can result in the physical removal of the tenant and their belongings from the property. Exception in real estate, an exception is a provision in a title insurance policy that excludes coverage for certain defects or claims. These exceptions can include things like liens, easements, or encroachments, and they are listed in the policy to clarify what is not covered. It is important to review these exceptions carefully before purchasing a property to ensure you understand the risks and limitations of your coverage. Exclusive Agency, EA Exclusive Agency, EA, is a type of listing agreement in real estate where the seller agrees to work exclusively with one agent or brokerage to sell their property. However, the seller reserves the right to sell the property themselves without paying a commission to the listing agent, known as an exception to the agreement. If the property is sold through the agent, they receive a commission as per the terms of the agreement. Exclusive Right to Sell, ERS Exclusive right to sell, ERS, is a type of real estate listing agreement in which the seller agrees to work exclusively with one real estate broker or agent to sell their property. In an ERS agreement, the broker or agent is guaranteed a commission even if the seller finds a buyer on their own or if another agent brings a buyer to the table. This type of agreement is commonly used in residential real estate transactions. Exculpatory Clause an exculpatory clause is a provision in a contract that excuses one party from liability for damages or injuries caused to the other party. 
In real estate, exculpatory clauses are commonly used in rental agreements and lease contracts to limit the landlord's liability for injuries or damages sustained by tenants. However, some jurisdictions may limit the enforceability of exculpatory clauses in certain situations. Executor slash executrix. An executor or executrix is a person or entity named in a will to manage the affairs of the deceased person's estate. Their responsibilities include locating and valuing assets, paying debts and taxes, and distributing the estate to the beneficiaries named in the will. Expropriation. Expropriation refers to the process by which a government or other authorized entity takes private property for public use, usually with compensation paid to the property owner. Expropriation is a legal process that involves taking private property through eminent domain and is typically used to acquire land for public infrastructure projects such as roads, highways, and airports. Fair Housing Act and Fair Housing Amendments Act The Fair Housing Act, FHA, and the Fair Housing Amendments Act, FHAA, are federal laws that prohibit housing discrimination based on race, color, religion, national origin, sex, disability, and familial status. The FHA was enacted in 1968, and the FHAA was passed in 1988 to provide additional protections against discrimination. These laws apply to a variety of housing-related activities, including renting, buying, financing, and advertising. Fair Housing Laws Fair housing laws are a set of federal, state, and local laws that prohibit discrimination in housing based on race, color, religion, national origin, sex, familial status, and disability. These laws aim to ensure that all individuals have equal access to housing opportunities and are protected from discriminatory practices in the sale, rental, financing, and advertising of housing. Fannie Mae Fannie Mae, also known as the Federal National Mortgage Association, FNMA, is a government-sponsored enterprise that provides liquidity to the mortgage market by purchasing and securitizing mortgages. Fannie Mae does not make loans directly to consumers, but instead buys loans from approved mortgage lenders and packages them into mortgage-backed securities to be sold to investors. FDIC FDIC stands for Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, which is a U.S. government agency that provides insurance for bank deposits in case the bank fails. The FDIC insures deposits up to a certain amount per depositor per bank, and it also helps to regulate and supervise U.S. banks to promote stability in the banking system. Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FDIC The Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FDIC, is a United States government corporation established in 1933 as a result of the Great Depression. Its main purpose is to protect and insure deposits in banks and savings institutions. The FDIC guarantees deposits up to a certain amount, providing stability and confidence in the banking system. Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, FEMA. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, FEMA, is a United States government agency responsible for managing the federal government's response to natural disasters, including coordinated relief efforts, providing disaster assistance to individuals and businesses, and implementing mitigation strategies to reduce the risk of future disasters. FEMA is also responsible for administering the National Flood Insurance Program, NFIP, and providing training and support to emergency management professionals at the state and local level. Federal Home Loan Mortgage Corporation, FHLMC The Federal Home Loan Mortgage Corporation, FHLMC, commonly known as Freddie Mac, is a government-sponsored enterprise that provides liquidity to the mortgage market. Its mission is to promote stability and affordability in the housing market by purchasing and securitizing mortgages from banks and other lenders. This helps to ensure that mortgage funds are available to home buyers at competitive rates. Federal Housing Administration The Federal Housing Administration, FHA, is a government agency established in 1934 to improve housing conditions and home ownership opportunities for all Americans, particularly those with low or moderate income. The FHA provides mortgage insurance on loans made by FHA-approved lenders, enabling borrowers to get more favorable terms and helping more people become homeowners. Fee Simple Estate Fee Simple Estate refers to an ownership interest in real property that gives the owner complete and unconditional ownership of the property, including the right to possess, use, and dispose of it as they wish. 
This type of ownership interest is often referred to as the highest form of ownership interest one can hold in real property. FHA FHA stands for Federal Housing Administration, which is a government agency that provides mortgage insurance to lenders in order to make home ownership more accessible to low- and moderate-income borrowers. FHA loans have lower down payment requirements and more flexible credit standards than conventional loans, but they also come with certain limitations and fees. FHLMC FHLMC stands for Federal Home Loan Mortgage Corporation, also known as Freddie Mac. It is a government-sponsored enterprise that buys and sells mortgages in the secondary mortgage market, providing liquidity for lenders and enabling more people to become homeowners. Fiduciary A fiduciary is an individual or organization that is legally and ethically bound to act in the best interest of another party, typically a client or beneficiary. In real estate, a fiduciary relationship is often formed between a real estate agent and their client, where the agent is responsible for representing the client's interest in a real estate transaction. This includes duties such as loyalty, confidentiality, full disclosure, and reasonable care and diligence. Finder's Fee A finder's fee is commission paid to a person who helps facilitate a business transaction, typically by introducing potential customers or business partners to a company. In real estate, a finder's fee may be paid to a person who helps a buyer find a suitable property or a seller find a potential buyer. The amount of the finder's fee is typically agreed upon in advance and is usually a percentage of the total transaction amount. First Mortgage A first mortgage refers to a primary lien on a property that takes priority over any other liens or claims against the property. This means that if the property is sold or foreclosed upon, the first mortgage must be paid off before any other debts or claims can be satisfied. Fixed Rate Mortgage A fixed rate mortgage is a type of mortgage where the interest rate remains the same for the entire term of the loan, which is typically 15 or 30 years. This means that the borrower's monthly principal and interest payments will remain the same over the life of the loan, providing stability and predictability in their housing costs. Fixture a fixture is an item that was once personal property but has become real property by being permanently attached to the land or a building. Examples of fixtures include built-in cabinets, lights fixtures, and HVAC systems. The determination of whether an item is a fixture or personal property can depend on factors such as the manner of attachment and the intention of the parties. Flood Control District a flood control district is a governmental entity responsible for managing and reducing the risk of flood damage in a specific geographic area. Its primary responsibility is to implement and maintain flood control measures such as dams, levees, and drainage systems, and to provide emergency response services during flooding events. Flood control districts may be established at the county, city, or regional level, depending on the location and scope of the area in question. Flood Insurance Flood insurance is a type of insurance that provides coverage for property damage caused by flooding. It is typically required by mortgage lenders in areas that are at high risk of flooding and is often provided through the National Flood Insurance Program, NFIP. Flood Plain A flood plain is a flat area adjacent to a river or stream that is susceptible to flooding during times of heavy rain or snowmelt. Flood plains are important to identify in real estate because they can pose a risk of property damage and safety hazards to homeowners and buyers. Flood insurance is often required in flood plains and properties located in flood-prone areas may be subject to additional building codes and regulations. FNMA FNMA, or Federal National Mortgage Association, is a government-sponsored enterprise that purchases and securitizes mortgages, helping to ensure the availability and affordability of home loans in the United States. FNMA operates in the secondary mortgage market, buying loans from primary lenders and then packaging them into securities for sale to investors. For Sale by Owner, FSBO for sale by owner, FSBO, is a real estate term used to describe when a property owner decides to sell their property without the representation of a real estate agent. The property owner is responsible for all aspects of the sale, from pricing the property to negotiating with potential buyers. Foreclosure Foreclosure is a legal process in which a lender seeks to recover the outstanding balance of a loan by forcing the sale of the property that was used as collateral for the loan. This typically occurs when the borrower defaults on the loan, meaning they have failed to make the required payments. 
Foreclosure can result in the borrower losing their home and the lender taking ownership of the property. Forfeiture. Forfeiture refers to the loss of property or assets as a penalty for some illegal or prohibited act. In real estate, forfeiture can occur if a property owner fails to meet their contractual obligations or pay taxes or mortgages, resulting in the forfeiture of the property to the lender or government. Fraud. In real estate, fraud refers to intentionally deceiving someone in order to gain an unfair or unlawful advantage. This can include misrepresenting information. This can include misrepresenting information about a property, such as its value or condition, or engaging in other dishonest practices during the buying or selling process. Fraud can lead to legal consequences and financial losses for those involved. Freddie Mac Freddie Mac, or the Federal Home Loan Mortgage Corporation, is a government-sponsored enterprise that buys and securitizes mortgages, providing liquidity to the mortgage market. It was established in 1970 to increase home ownership and affordability by supporting the secondary mortgage market. Front foot. In real estate, the term front foot refers to the length of a property that faces the street or waterway and is typically used to determine the cost of public services, such as sewer, water, and other utilities. The front footage of a property can be measured in linear feet or square feet, depending on the jurisdiction and local regulations. FSBO. FSBO stands for For Sale by Owner, which refers to a property that is being sold directly by the owner without the use of a real estate agent or broker. In an FSBO transaction, the owner is responsible for all aspects of the sale, including advertising, showing the property, negotiating with buyers, and preparing the necessary legal documents. Functional Obsolescence Functional obsolescence is a decrease in the value of a property due to outdated or inadequate features, design, or layout. This can include issues like poor floor This can include issues like poor floor plans, outdated technology, or inefficient use of space that negatively impact the property's functionality and overall value. Garden home. A garden home is a type of attached or detached residential dwelling that typically features a small yard or garden area for private outdoor use. These homes are often designed to be low maintenance and efficient in their use of space and may be popular options for individuals or families looking for a more affordable or manageable living situation. Gated community. A gated community refers to a residential neighborhood or community that is enclosed by a physical barrier such as walls, fences, or gates, which are often manned by security personnel. This type of community is typically exclusive and provides a high level of security and privacy for its residents. General lien. A general lien is a type of lien that gives the creditor the right to take possession of and sell any property owned by the debtor to satisfy a debt, regardless of when the debt was incurred. General liens are typically granted to secured creditors, such as mortgage lenders or those who have obtained a judgment against the debtor. General warranty deed. A general warranty deed is a legal document used to transfer real estate from one party to another. It contains a guarantee from the seller that they have the legal right to sell the property, that there are no undisclosed liens or encumbrances, and that the buyer will receive clear title to the property. The warranty covers the entire history of the property, providing the buyer with maximum protection against any potential defects in title. Jenny May Ginny May, GNMA, is a U.S. government corporation within the Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, HUD, that provides support to the secondary market for residential mortgages. Ginny May guarantees mortgage-backed securities, MBS, backed by federally insured or guaranteed loans, including those backed by the Federal Housing Administration, FHA, Department of Veterans Affairs, VA, and the Department of Agriculture's Rural Housing Service, RHS. Government National Mortgage Association The Government National Mortgage Association, also known as Ginny May, is a U.S. government-owned corporation within the Department of Housing and Urban Development. Ginny May guarantees mortgage-backed securities that are issued by approved lenders and backed by mortgages insured or guaranteed by the Federal Housing Administration, the Department of Veterans Affairs, and other government entities. GNMA GNMA stands for the Government National Mortgage Association, which is a U.S. government agency that provides liquidity to the secondary mortgage market by purchasing mortgages from lenders. 
GNMA is also known as Jenny May, and its primary mission is to support home ownership for low- to moderate-income families and facilitate affordable mortgage financing options. Nice work. You just studied 50 terms. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe for more practice tests.